offering. Jesus with these cadets. 
So, besides her teaching, the 40-year-old Anna also wrote books with her sister Susan. She had written several novels using the persuaded and how do you like to pronounce that word? There you go. Amy Lothrop. Have you ever heard of that name? Neither has anybody else. Okay. So, in 1860, the sisters Say and Seal, that's the book that they wrote, Say and Seal, became the country's best-selling work of fiction, written for the masses and the moment, not fueled by timeless struggles or epic writing, the book would quickly pass from the public's fancy, lost with thousands of other period pieces of the time. Yet thanks to one very special scene on but a single page, the essence of the book and Anna's faith would live for decades after the book Say and Seal, and Anna herself had been forgotten. In one chapter, a child lay dying. Nothing could be done to ease his or give him his pain or give him a second chance at life. As his ultimate fate grew near, the novel focal, focal character, Mr. Lennon attempted, attempted to comfort the small boy, looking into the child's eyes. He slowly recited a poem that began, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. And that's where the words to the song that we sing came from. It came from a book that nobody remembers, that after a short period of time, after it was a bestseller, fell off the list, but in one page, there was something that was eternal. And that was the truth, that Jesus loves me, this I know, what? For the Bible tells me so. So, that song, in her book, was written for a fictional character who was dying, a little boy. But yet, we sing it today, and all churches sing it. And let me skip to the end. Because we don't want to take Lester's all this time to hear it. Almost 140 years after this song was first published, few know of the writings of Anna Warner or recognize the name of William Bradbury. If you look in your uh, hymn book, that's the name of the person who put this together, William Bradbury. Okay? But even though the writer and the composer have been forgotten, everyone knows their song. Children and adults of all races and even millions outside the Christian faith can sing, Jesus loves me. How many millions have come to this message on lonely nights or rocked babies to sleep while singing this song is unknown. But what can be most assuredly stated is that Jesus loves me. is the foundation on which many children not only first come to know Christian music, but also come to know the love and the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ to inspire it. And this message is what keeps them singing the gospel throughout their lives. So that's the story of the song, Jesus Loves Me. Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for all of these young people. I pray a special blessing upon each of them. Lord, that you would touch their lives. Father, you know the beginning from the end, so you know where each of their lives is going to be going. Pray, Father, that you would use them to glorify your name, to end this message, and to allow Jesus to come back. Give them strength, give them peace, give them confidence in Christ. For this we ask and pray in Jesus' name. And everybody said? Amen. Amen.